welcome to my channel. I hope all of you find yourselves in wonderful health by the time you are watching this. I hope you've been doing great. I hope your week has been productive. I hope your spring break has brought you a ton of joy. Today I am here to share this eye tutorial with all of you. And of course I am going to be using the ColourPop It's My Pleasure Palette. This gem of wonderful just pinks and purples has truly called my heart lately. And today I am going to be sharing this look with all of you. So grab your makeup tools. If you don't have this palette, just take some eyeshadow, girl. Let's sit down, play with makeup, and chat. Are we ready to, of course, play with makeup? So I think we are. Let me tone the weirdness down. In today's tutorial, we are going to be using the ColourPop it's my pleasure palette so let's dive right into this tutorial because this has beautiful pink and purple colors now let's do remember that if you're here just to feel more comfortable with the application you can follow along with any type of palette or any colors that you would like simply to practice technique so let's get started with this fluffy blending brush by of course Wet n Wild I am going to take the color Purdy Cruel and it's this very nice pink matte with a very interesting shimmer. When I apply it as a crease shade, however, I do take my blending brush and I make sure I tap off all the excess completely and I try to just tap and tap until all the glitters fall off because I don't want any of that on my crease. So let's start applying it. I already put it in the brush. There's the tap off hopefully all the glitter fell off now let's dive right into that crease so this is going to go on the crease and we are just going to spread the color and blend as we go how are all of you doing with all this coronavirus talk with the virus spreading as fast as it is let me know down in the comments Take care of yourself. Remember, just wash your hands often. Let's do what they recommend so that we can slow that spread, my friends. So right now where I live, the stores are completely empty of a lot of the necessities like toilet paper. I know some moms were having trouble finding formula. So, the truth is, people are panicking. I did take this color sleeper on this blending brush right here, and I am going to apply it a little bit tighter on that outer crease, so that it can give me a little more do you know definition there? And there goes the color. And it's a beautiful just purple. And it adds a very nice amount of intensity there, at least in my perspective. And then I'm going to do the same exact thing on this side. Or I'm going to mimic the motion just as close as I can match it along. We need to make these babies look like at least relatives, you know? to be applying the color Sandman on this brush right here and this is just a very nice color it's probably one of my favorites in the palette I have to incorporate it in just about every look when I apply eyeshadow with this palette it's just a very interesting and unique color in my perspective it has flashes of purple but silver it's a very nice color on the lid I am going to apply Max Fix Plus on my brush just to intensify the color and then I'm just going to press it on my eyelid. 
and as you can see it's a very beautiful purple and this palette does have a tad bit of fall off right here I already had some fallout but it's very worth it. It has very pretty colors and all you have to do is be, you know, a tad bit more careful with your eyeshadow. And again, I'm simply taking the color. I'm going to apply Fix Plus. The steps are very repetitive, my friends. But if you know me, you know that I'm quite basic. And just simple, just basic, simple me. And there you have Mr. Sandman. Now, because of my basic nature, I am going to take bare minimum. And I'm just going to apply a little bit on my fingertip. And I'm going to apply it very slightly on my outer corners. Just very slightly to give this outer corner a little bit more of a a punch, a different type of intensity. And again, it's just a very small amount that I'm applying just to deepen up the color a little bit. Just a little bit. Now with this same brush that had Mr. Sandman, I am going to just kind of add what's left underneath the eye. And I will apply Probably another matte purple to blend that out in a moment. I am taking the color Pretty Cruel with this small pencil brush and I'm going to apply the color very close to my lower lash line just to blend out the shade that we applied there right now. Just that little shimmer. This is the scary part of makeup, the lower lash line, because I always poke an eye. I am going to apply the color Earth Shine to my inner corner. That, of course, is going to be my highlight today. Here you have the look just by using this palette right here. There's no eyeliner yet. I'm about to go finish my makeup and then of course I will come back to say my goodbyes. But I did want you to look at the look on its own just by using this palette right here of course. Which again it's just gorgeous purple and pink goodness. Here we have the finished look, my friends, and of course I've already applied my entire face of makeup, blush, highlights, and more bronzer. I did add eyeliner to the eye look and of course mascara, and this right here has just pleasantly surprised me. Within the last two weeks, this is one of my most grabbed palettes, and that's because I received a few compliments whenever I apply it, I'm not gonna lie, specifically from my mother, who of course adores purple eye looks. This right here is a dream if you like purple and pink looks. If these are your favorite colors, this palette is just going to be your number one. For me, I truly enjoy the outcome of this product because even though I do prefer red, orange kind of eyeshadows, this helps me step out of my comfort zone and it encourages me to create completely different types of looks. So, so far for me, this right here has been a win-win and I truly adore the eye looks that I've come up with. So what can I say to the It's My Pleasure palette? Well, it's been my pleasure. 
We've come to the end of this video. Hopefully you found it helpful or at least a little bit interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you still haven't. Please do hit that bell button for notifications. Leave me your comments and requests down below for I love answering those. And they do give me a guide from time to time. It tells me what you want to watch and what you want to see on my channel next. Anyhow, I hope you have a very lovely day or a very wonderful night. Goodbye.